Steve the Squirrel and Blue Blue the Lizard explore subterranean China. We publish a new bedtime read along story every night, so make sure to tap the subscribe button so you never miss any. Part 1, Meeting Blue Blue. Steve the Squirrel was scurrying along the branches of a large oak tree, his eyes darting around for any signs of adventure. As he turned a corner, he spotted a colorful lizard basking in the sunlight on a nearby branch. Curiosity peaked, Steve scampered over to investigate. The lizard looked up as Steve approached, its eyes blinking slowly in the sunlight. Hello there, said Steve, his voice echoing off the tree trunks. What's your name? The lizard looked at Steve curiously before replying, My name is Blue Blue. What brings you over here? I'm just always on the lookout for new discoveries, said Steve, flicking his tail excitedly. Do you have any stories to share? Blue Blue looked thoughtful for a moment before replying, Well, I do know of a legendary land called Subterranean China. It's said to be a vast underground world filled with wonders and treasures beyond imagination. Steve's eyes widened in excitement. Subterranean China. That sounds amazing. Do you know how to get there? Blue Blue looked hesitant. It's a treacherous journey, filled with many obstacles and dangers. But if you're up for an adventure, I'd be willing to join you. Steve nodded eagerly. I'm always up for an adventure. Let's go discover subterranean China. With that, Steve and Blue Blue set off on their journey, their hearts filled with excitement and wonder at the unknown adventures that lay ahead. Part 2, Journey Through the Forest. Steve and Blue Blue journeyed through the forest, encountering many challenges along the way. They climbed steep cliffs, forded raging rivers, and navigated through thick underbrush. Despite the challenges, Steve and Blue Blue were undeterred. They used their sharp senses and quick thinking to overcome each obstacle, always keeping their eyes peeled for any signs of danger or adventure. As they traveled, they made new friends with the other animals they met along the way. They learned about the history and culture of the land they were traveling through, which only fueled their excitement to discover subterranean China. One day, as they were foraging for food, they came across a family of rabbits who were struggling to gather enough food to survive the harsh winter. Steve and Blue Blue immediately offered their help, working together to gather enough food to sustain the rabbit family. The rabbits were grateful for their help and offered to guide Steve and Blue Blue through a treacherous mountain pass. Thanks to their new friends, Steve and Blue Blue were able to safely navigate the pass and continue their journey. As they traveled, they marveled at the beauty of the forest around them. They saw towering trees that stretched up to the sky, crystal clear streams that sparkled in the sunlight, and wildlife that seemed to be around every corner. Despite the long journey, Steve and Blue Blue were filled with excitement and wonder at the unknown adventures that lay ahead. They knew that their journey through the forest was only the beginning of their great adventure. Part 3, Descending into the Underground World After a long and treacherous journey through the forest, Steve and Blue Blue finally arrived at the entrance to subterranean China. They stood at the edge of a great chasm, with only a rope bridge spanning the gap. As they crossed the bridge, Steve and Blue Blue marveled at the dark, mysterious caverns that stretched out before them. The air was damp and cool, and the only sounds were the echoes of their footsteps and the occasional drip of water. As they descended deeper into the underground world, Steve and Blue Blue's senses were heightened. They relied on their keen eyesight and sharp hearing to navigate the unfamiliar terrain, always on the lookout for any signs of danger or adventure. As they explored, they encountered strange creatures and uncovered ancient artifacts that gave clues to the rich history of the land. They saw towering stalactites and stalagmites that seemed to stretch on forever, underground rivers that flowed like liquid silver, and great caverns filled with shimmering crystals. But their adventure took a dangerous turn when they realized they were being pursued by a group of creatures who did not welcome outsiders. Steve and Blue Blue had to use all their wits and skills to evade their pursuers and continue their exploration of subterranean China. Despite the dangers, Steve and Blue Blue were undeterred. They knew that the underground world was full of wonders and treasures beyond their wildest dreams. They pressed on, determined to uncover the secrets that lay hidden in the depths of subterranean China. Part 4, A Narrow Escape and New Discoveries As Steve and Blue Blue continued their exploration of subterranean China, they discovered a hidden chamber filled with ancient artifacts and treasure. 
They were awed by the glittering jewels and priceless artifacts that lay before them, and they knew that they had stumbled upon something truly special. But their discovery was short-lived. The creatures who had been pursuing them had finally caught up, and Steve and Blue Blue found themselves in a desperate fight for survival. They fought bravely, using their agility and quick thinking to evade their attackers. In the midst of the chaos, Steve and Blue Blue stumbled upon a hidden passage that led them deeper into the underground world. They followed the winding tunnels, hoping to find a way out and escape the creatures that pursued them. Their luck seemed to have run out when they found themselves trapped in a dead-end tunnel with no apparent escape. But Steve and Blue Blue refused to give up. With a burst of inspiration, Steve used his sharp claws to dig through the dirt and create a new tunnel. It was a dangerous and risky move, but it paid off. They emerged from the tunnel into a vast underground chamber filled with the most incredible sights they had ever seen. There were underground lakes, towering caverns, and even underground forests filled with bioluminescent plants and creatures. As they explored, Steve and Blue Blue found that the creatures that had been pursuing them were nowhere to be seen. It seemed that they had finally managed to escape their relentless attackers. Filled with a sense of wonder and excitement, Steve and Blue Blue continued their exploration of subterranean China. They knew that their journey had been dangerous and fraught with peril, but it had also been filled with incredible discoveries and unforgettable experiences. As they made their way back to the surface, Steve and Blue Blue knew that their adventure was far from over. There were still many mysteries and wonders to uncover in the vast, underground world of subterranean China, and they were eager to explore them all. The End do you want to hear more stories? Then hit the subscribe button to follow our channel, so you never miss another daily story. And keep listening now, as more stories will play shortly.